Hello, Anna. Nice to see you again. Hello, nice to see you. Thank you. I would like to share with you my experience and uh, ask if you also felt something like that and then if you have any comments and guidance. So tonight I had a dream and in this dream I was aware of my being and that I'm dreaming. Uh, yet I saw the dream but I was aware and then when transition to waking state happened, I still remain that as that being and awareness. And then just the world appeared as the same dream, but <laughs> I would call it dream, but now with sensations and senses. Uh, so my beingness was constant and is constant. And then I saw that, okay, so this our world ah, this dream is shared shared between all our infinite minds while my dream at night was like localized for my limited yes. mind and then something just deepened and i saw that everything to this world is my beingness just beingness and there is no nothing was ever born it's the best description is like a mirage and there's no time no space and it's self fulfilled and self luminous and then in here i feel like you're pointing to the being us and meditations and, and then something just dropped and opened and now and i will speak like more metaphorically because nothing can describe it um so something just dropped and 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 there was no even sense of existing like it was beyond of being and non-being and the best that could describe that would be like a pregnant void um so it felt like like beyond and i wonder if you experience something like that uh, because there is a deep intuitive feeling like that I am that, that something is just yes. even beyond being. Yeah, but Anna, what you mean is, it, I think this is what you mean. If it's not, let me know. I think what you mean is that it's beyond existence and non-existence. Yeah. Being is present prior to existence and non-existence. So there is like in being, there is a sense of I am, just I am without qualities and there was like even be no i when when being localizes itself in a finite mind or as a finite mind its primary experience is the experience i am the, the, but but so when the individual reflects on its experience the individual can say its first knowledge of itself is the knowledge I or I am. But infinite being cannot reflect on itself. And nor does it need to. The sun doesn't reflect on itself. It doesn't need to. It illuminates itself just by being itself. It, it, Self-reflection, this, this looking back at our own being, only takes place in the, in the individual. So from the individual's point of view, the knowledge I am is refers to its knowledge of itself. It, it, the knowledge I am is, is the individual's primary knowledge, and it refers to the being that it essentially is. But, but in being itself, there is no self-reflection. Yeah. It, it, just, it just is itself and knows itself just by being itself, but not in subject-object relationship. So it's just... I mean, I'm trying... I'm trying to describe it in no, no. terms that the, that the finite mind uses, so, so it, it's, 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 it's difficult to, but it, it just is, I, it just is, is the best, or I just am, is the best we can say, I am, I am. Have you I'm. ever went beyond I am? Beyond the knowledge I am, yes. Yes. Beyond the experience, to which the knowledge I am refers, no. Hmm. 
I am is the first form of knowledge in the mind. It's the first, I am is the first face of God, the first form of God in a finite mind, the first utterance, the first utterance of the Logos, the divine name, the first face of God in the finite mind. I am, that is, that's a form. The knowledge I am is a form. It's the primary form. But it refers to something that is not a form infinite being. So you can have infinite being in the absence of the knowledge I am, but you can't have the knowledge I am in the absence of infinite. An analogy. Um, uh, John Smith just knows himself by being himself. When John Smith local uh, assumes the character of King Lear and suffers, King Lear has to reflect on himself. John Smith doesn't need to reflect on himself. He just is himself and he's at peace. Yes. Only when he finds himself as King Lear does King Lear have to turn round, so to speak, and reflect on his true nature. Only King Lear has to trace his way back to his true nature. If you ask King Lear what his primary experience is, he would voice the words, I am. Those words are a thought in King Lear's mind but they refer to the being of John Smith, which is not in King Lear's mind. So uh, all I see is myself in, every, in everything, everyone, all the spirit, yes. all the John Smith. And... Yes. <laughs> let, 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 let me say something more about the knowledge I am, because this is something that is, uh, there's some contradiction in, in the, um, between two of the great 20th century masters of, of the Advaita tradition, um, Ramana Maharshi and Nisargadatta. Um, Ramana Maharshi said that the knowledge I am is the highest wisdom. Uh, and yet Nisargadatta referred to it as ignorance. Yes. Why? Because Ramana Maharshi was talking from the point of view of King Lear. From King Lear's point of view, the knowledge is the highest knowledge that can appear in a finite mind because that knowledge refers directly to John Smith. However, from John Smith's point of view, this was when Sagadatta was talking from, from John Smith's point of view, the knowledge I am is the first step he takes away from himself, which will later be mixed with experience and become the separate self. So the same thought from mm -hmm. King Lear's point of view is the doorway to freedom. From John Smith's point of view, it's the doorway to captivity. That's why one of them referred to it as the highest knowledge, when the other referred to it as the primary ignorance. Mm. They were both right from the points of view on which they were speaking. Yes, it, it feels like I am is like a doorway in and out. Exactly. The I am, you've heard me use this analogy before, it's like a prison door. If you enter the prison door from the outside world, it has captivity written over it. If you enter the, go through the same prison door, but from the prison side of it, in other words, you go through the prison door out into the world, the same door has liberation or freedom written above it. Depends which way you pass through the door. It is both the doorway to bondage and to freedom. I am is both the highest knowledge and the source of ignorance. Mm 